Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. Today we're going for Mahi Mahi. That's Mahi Mahi. So nice, they say it twice. So, it's been a busy morning. We just finished lobstering. In fact, we haven't even gone home first. We dropped off some of our crew. They're hitching a ride back to the house. And we're going straight offshore to see if we can't catch some mahi-mahi. We have cousin Drew, cousin Hunter, my dad, and myself. And we're going offshore for some mahi. And uh, I wasn't sure we were going to get a go, actually. You see, we started heading out there. And I see some clouds. It definitely rain. I hear some boom, you know, thunder. Definitely not something you want to run into. Pull up the radar, and you could tell there was a storm right where we're heading. So we kind of slow it down, see what the weather does, see if we can avoid it. All right, guys, we're trying to get offshore, and we got us a little storm. We're trying to figure out what it's going to do, and uh, go from there. Now might be a good time for one of your speeches, motivational speeches. Which speech? Well, the last speech I don't think worked too well. I, I felt inspired. You were inspired? For those of you who don't know, <laughs> you guys have seen our unsinkable story. Drew was actually on the boat with my dad on, the boat. on that unsinkable story. One of the swimmers. Probably 14 or 15. <laughs> and if you can go through that as a child, I'd still be an avid fisherman. And not wind up in a psychiatric unit. <laughs> then, uh, <laughs> so you're doing something wrong. Right. <laughs> right. Let me ask you when you were on that boat and everything was going wrong, did you say to yourself, calm down, it's going to be all right? <laughs> I think I was saying, I'm going to get a ride in a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> but the helicopter never came. I always wanted to meet a rescue swimmer. It's a bad day. They say, hey, we don't have any boats available. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Give everyone a off or what? Yeah, thank goodness for uh, Captain George on the Miss Mayport. Yeah. So, as you can tell, Drew's still fishing with us, so it couldn't have been that scarring of a childhood experience. Hopefully we catch some fish off of it. It's the best sign we've seen so far. Coming back behind our spread. you think they'd, uh, they'd hit soon. Oh, did you see something? Something's busting. The weather actually didn't move inshore, so we headed further offshore. And we started looking for birds. I actually saw a few weed lines, but um, a weed line in itself isn't always a great sign. I trolled it for a little bit, but it didn't look good, so we just kept moving. I like to find birds in conjunction with the weed lines, or even just birds. It took us a while to find them, but we finally found some birds. Now here's a big tip for you. This is very important, guys. You're really going to want to learn this, write this down, tattoo it on your arm so you don't forget. Seems like there are two types of schooling birds. Now there's a third kind of bird, you know, the frigate birds, usually more solo. But you'll see flocks of birds over, you know, bait and fish offshore in the Keys. There's some that are darker colored birds and then there's more of the whiter colored birds. It seems like the darker colored birds mainly stay over Bonita. And if you forget which color's which, just remember, if you start trolling up to some birds and you can never seem to catch them, it's because they're on Bonita. Bonita move really fast. They're hard to catch. You can catch up to birds on dolphin or tuna, but Bonita, I don't know what it is. They just move fast. So we actually hit those dark color birds, trolled for a minute, realized this isn't the fish we want, and we kept looking for birds. And then we found the lighter color birds, which was what we were hoping for. We started trolling and we get a fish on. Dolphin, dolphin. Anna. All right, guys, found a different set of birds. These look more like dolphin birds. I think the other one were on Bonita. So, oh, we got double. There we go, up top, up high. Leave that one out there because that's got a ballyhoo. Hey, uh, let's grab some, uh, we might pitch them on. Yeah. 
There may be some more with it, Hunter. Let me know if you see any. Well, we got all these birds around. They could be, uh, I mean, I bet we, we loop through and we catch them. I got it, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Is it a uh, valley who I had out? Okay. Yeah. Hang on. Did y'all even see them like show up? Cause I just heard fish on. Uh, we seen the birds and and we just heard uh, uh, I just heard the clicker. It's, it's El Capitan's turn. There you go. All right. Catch one that hits one of these other ballyhoo. Wait back there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that one over there, right? Yeah. Please be doing good so far. Just glad we're catching some. I wasn't sure we were going to get anything this afternoon. Coming across, Dad. Watch, watch yours. You might need to bring yours in. You see any with them? Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, Throwing up a mess, ain't he? Yeah. Prettiest one I've ever seen. Ah. Uh, yeah, if you wanna hand that Tim, I'll throw him in the box. Yeah. Where'd the bird go? I think I see I, I see some birds way over there. But about between us and that boat. We're trolling ballyhoo and some lures way back and uh, just staying around the birds. Now another very important tip is make sure someone's always keeping track of those birds. You know, you get a big flock of birds flying around you, you catch fish and you think, oh, surely I can't lose these birds. I've got the ocean to myself and there's a big school of birds. But you catch fish, it gets a little crazy, next thing you, you know, you look up and you're like, oh, where'd they go? Are they high? Are they low? Have someone just dedicated, like, watching those birds, okay, so they can tell you. Having my dad up in the tower definitely helps. He can watch, uh, look for fish, and work some of the lines. He puts one way back, which is pretty nice. Between us and that boat. Oh, yeah. Pretty sure that's them. It's out of my eyes. They're playing tricks on me. Totally possible. Oh, I see a bird, yeah. You see him? Yeah. But I only see one. I think I see a couple swirling just behind that boat. Oh yeah, yeah, they're diving good up ahead. That's definitely them. You got them? Yeah, I got them. Cool. They're like fireflies. Yeah. I was second guessing it myself. I was like, <laughs> well, I looked over there and I saw nothing. No, I saw like this little tiny man. I saw it's kind of like you know you know you look on the horizon you just see little dots. I'm like, hey, oh man, I wonder if that's it. Y'all need to hire like a bird watcher to pick that on the bus. What's that? Yeah. Probably one of the biggest blocks I've seen. What's the 80s band, Hunter? Name the 80s band that's appropriate at this moment. ACDC? Block of Seagulls. Oh, that's really a band. <laughs> it's really a band. Oh, it's Drew's turn to catch for Oh, yeah. Captain's turn. Oh, it's Captain's turn. You go ahead, Drew. I think they want to see Cousin Drew catch a fish. A mahi. He's only catching bar jack. That's, I mean, that's probably legendary by now. Uh, uh, yeah, I think that was the one you caught the bar jack and then you caught a mahi with the bar jack. Should be in the zone. There we go. Fish on. Are you on up there?
figured we'd have a couple of these birds crushing it. He's right there on my left. Um, Look, you ate that little flying fish, don't huh? <laughs> Oh, wow, that is cool. It's going to be big right there, boy. Yeah. The birds? Yeah. All right. The flying fish? Yeah. yeah. They were spitting up little flying fish, that, but that was the only one that looked like it had just been eaten. Yeah. Uh, Threw up a uh, baby flying fish. That's what these guys were eating. You could see them coming up. I saw some birds grabbing these guys, and the fish would chase them up. And uh, I don't know, maybe I need a, a lure like this. But uh, it's pretty cool. All right, it's, it's finally going according to plan. We found the birds and we're catching fish. Drew and Hunter and me were all down there working. My dad's up top and we caught some mahi, which is fun. Uh, the mahi weren't real big, but I've been out there catching those schoolie mahi and we'll hook and do a really nice one. So. Just because you're catching little ones, remember that big one could be around, you know. And they're all feeding on food, so big one might be there too. Just be ready. Look at the little flying. Oh, that bird just caught a flying fish. I just seen them. Uh, now they're fighting over it. Those mine have got to be right here to be chasing those. We also learned on this trip that Drew has some mad untangling skills. We had one line going back from the tower and it got under another line when we turned and let's just say there was a big mess, but Drew was able to untangle it. I'm pretty impressed. I was ready to just cut it. That was some serious untangling skills. <laughs> well, when you grow up bass fishing with a lake behind your house and there's a willow tree yeah. right next to the dock yeah. and you rear back and you learn a few things. Yeah. I was very like, oh man, we're going to have to cut that, we're going to have to re-spool that. We had tangles lying all over the place. Pretty good. And sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. <laughs> I think that was one of those times. Yeah. At least it wasn't like, you know, four pound test. That's <laughs> true. Yeah. Ah. Um, yeah. Is if you want to slow it down a little bit, well, it does feel like a better fish. Put him in low speed and crank it away. This is way better. Yeah. Looks, like looks like a big old ball of grass. Nice, nice. Yeah. Is there a fish there? I don't know. Hold on. I got you. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's a fish there. Grass cart. That was a good one. <laughs> he just wanted me to reel it in. He could have just, <laughs> just... Yeah, he just he wanted you to reel it in. That's all it was. <laughs> he wanted to reel it in himself. It happened. <laughs> That's a dirty pool there. Now. Yeah. Well, guys, thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys learned some stuff. Got some dolphin. Had Cousin Drew with us. Cousin Drew. Mm -hmm. In the well, house. What are your thoughts on today? Did we do okay? okay? Caught our lone lobster, we caught five chicken dolphins. Good day. Chicken dolphins, is that what they call them in Alabama? I don't know what we call them in Alabama. In, in Florida, we, we, say, we say tuna is chicken of the sea. But in Alabama, like, it's dinner or supper. Tuna or chicken? Yes. Or dolphin? All. Okay, <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> you can fry it. I'm learning the ways of the Alabaman. How do you say it? Alabamian? Alabamians. Alabamians. Even though I'm from Florida. That's true. You learned the ways. You think I can learn the ways? You think I could pass as someone from Alabama? No. Gotcha. Maybe it's a Cuban. <laughs> Too that's another story. If I put on camo, would I fit in? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just, you about just that a time. between your chicken gum, you'd be fine. <laughs> I tell you about that time, I think the Coast Guard thought I was a Cuban. Yes, that's okay. why I said you can pass as a Cuban. Yeah, it's true. And not a cigar. That's right, not a cigar. Not a cigar minnow. Or cigar cigar. You went too far with that. Sorry. Well, anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. 
and uh, you know find his baseball card and we'll do it again tomorrow that <laughs> sounds good <laughs> see you guys don't forget to like and subscribe and find us on the other social media websites you know Instagram Facebook stuff like that and we'll see you on the next video